I've gone quite an itinerary. I, I'm oh, yeah. from Belgium. I, I was uh -huh. born uh, near Antwerp, and, and my family is still there, but I'm half Hungarian. But my international sort of thing started to uh, work in a different way. But So I start as soon as I finished my law studies and then a postgraduate in political science and international relations, I, I set off working with refugees, first as my military service in Belgium. Mm -hmm. I, for one year I interviewed asylum seekers from West Africa and the Horn of Africa. Which was fascinating. Um, but that's, that's really the spread. And that's why I understood I need to do something constructive. I, I, I want, and that that we from Rangoon, we went to Jakarta. I lived for five years in Indonesia, and I got a job after my first response to a vacancy and my first interview. I got a job with the European Commission, where I, I worked for them for five what, years. What were you doing in Jakarta? So I was in charge of the entire rural development and health program in East Timor. I was running programs uh, worth 270 million euro. I, I believe in development, but not necessarily. I mean, you can't give the aid if there's not first the inspiration. Mm -hmm. What you need in developing countries is a sense of ownership, a sense of being inspired, a sense of a clear vision of where they want to go, not the building is a country people need to be able to maximally provide for themselves based on their own talents, based on their own passions, based on their own initiative. And, and that's, that's really what we want to do, Clive and I, and, and we, we did this uh, all over the place. I mean, we worked in, in, in Malawi, Zimbabwe, Zambia, mm -hmm. Botswana, Mozambique. Uh, we, we, we're sort of starting to cover the place a little yeah. With the message precisely that, take ownership of your life and take ownership of the future of your community, of your country. I think any organization is, is always composed of people. It, it always comes down to people. And, and each person, really, for me, the core of each person is what their talents are. Yeah, it is is what their passions are, is what their values are. And so getting to understand that, it's then you can see, does this person have presence or not? Is this person authentic or not? Has this person got integrity or not? Is this person congruent or not? Is this person a loving person? I mean, love is, is at the end of the day what this is all about because you cannot create without love. And the point is that people need to be engaged with this vision. I mean, it mm. makes absolutely no sense to have a vision on the wall and not get that for the next five years. It mm. needs to be alive. And people need to be engaged. And the way people are engaged is with their talent. You need to engage their talent. Mm -hmm. if, if people... The thing is, the essence of the person is his talent, passions and values. You need to engage that. You need to know what that